Hello students, welcome to another session of Cubes and Cube Roots In the last session, we discussed the cube of a number and some properties of perfect cubes. Today, we are going to see some patterns involving cube numbers. Now, let's have a look at an interesting pattern. Have you understood the pattern? Yes, the pattern is made of only odd numbers. The number of terms in the first row is 1, in the second row is 2, and the third row is 3, and so on. Let's find the sum of terms in each row. Look at these sums. Have you noticed anything special? Yes, they are perfect cubes. That is, they can be expressed as the cubes of natural numbers. Compare the number of terms in each row and their corresponding sums. What did you observe? The sum of terms is equal to the cube of the number of terms. We can express any cube number as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. Let's try to express 8 cube as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. For that, we have to identify the first term of that sequence. How do we find the first term? Let's compare the base numbers and first terms in the pattern. Can you find any relation between the base number and the corresponding first terms? We can express the first term like this. 1 equals 1 multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus 1. 3 equals 2 multiplied by 2 minus 1 plus 1. 7 equals 3 multiplied by 3 minus 1 plus 1. 13 equals 4 multiplied by 4 minus 1 plus 1. 21 equals 5 multiplied by 5 minus 1 plus 1. By observing these patterns, can you find the first term when the base number is n? Yes it will be n multiplied by n minus 1 plus 1. That is, we can express the cube of a number n as the sum of n consecutive odd numbers starting from n multiplied by n minus 1 plus 1. Here, in 8 cube, n equals 8. Therefore, the first term in the sequence will be 8 multiplied by 8 minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 8 multiplied by 7 plus 1 equals 57. So we can express 8 cube as the sum of 8 consecutive odd numbers starting from 57. That is, 8 cube equals 57 plus 59 plus 61 plus 63 plus 65 plus 67 plus 69 plus 71. Let's see some examples. Express 6 cube as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. In 6 cube n equals 6. The first term will be 6 multiplied by 6 minus 1 plus 1 equals 6 multiplied by 5 plus 1 equals 31. We can express 6 cube as the sum of 6 consecutive odd numbers starting from 31. That is, 6 cube equals 31 plus 33 plus 35 plus 37 plus 39 plus 41. Let's look at another pattern. Have you noticed anything special? Yes, the pattern shows the difference between the cubes of two consecutive natural numbers and the result is very interesting. In each row, the first term is 1, and it ends in 3. 
In between them, the product of base numbers is there. Next, can you write 7 cube minus 6 cube using the above manner? Yes, 7 cube minus 6 cube can be written as 1 plus 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 3. Using this pattern, can you find the value of 51 cube minus 50 cube? Yes, we can. 51 cube minus 50 cube equals 1 plus 51 multiplied by 50 multiplied by 3 equals 1 plus 7650 equals 7651 that is 51 cube minus 50 cube equals 7651 let's quickly recap Today we discussed how to express a cube number as the sum of consecutive odd numbers and find the difference between cubes of two consecutive natural numbers. Before winding up, let's go to an activity. Express 10 cube as the sum of consecutive odd numbers. Find the value of 20 cube minus 19 cube. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.